I know a lot of you drivers don't got time to watch this eight minute video, so I'm just gonna give you the highlights right here. The other day, I had a lot of drivers email me saying, you know, uh, they work as subcontractors for Estes or SDs, and it was shut down, you know, cyber attack, something happened, and you know, some even emailed that they were sent home. You know, here's the truth here. So uh, there are third party subcontractors. It looks like majority of them are uh, covenant workers for Estes. And yes, they weren't able to get any loads. As far as the rest of Estes drivers, they just had to do it the old school way. They are pushing through. They're just doing it pen and paper. Let's get into today's video. Let's get all of the Estes drivers telling the truth of what really happened. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. You know, the first thing that I want to talk about is every time I say Estes, people say no, Alex, is pronounced Estes. And then every time I says Estes, people go no, Alex, is Estes. So which one is it, right? Um, now, the big question of the day is, you know, I had so many people email me yesterday saying that, you know, they were contractors for Estes and at the end of it all, they couldn't work. Uh, they didn't know what was going on. So we got down to the bottom of it. So here is the truth. This is what drivers are telling me and we want to share it with the world because whatever information I get, that's what I share. That's all we do on the show. So, you know, if you have any information ever email to mother trucker news at gmail.com let's get into it first off the first theory that everybody has is that everybody knows that estes put in a bid for 1.5 billion dollars to buy all yellow terminals and because of that the theory first is that uh these cyber attack hackers know that estes has some money and so when they made that publicly known, uh, that's why they went after Estes. And when I look at the website as I'm making this video today, this morning, it looks like uh, the website's still down. You know, uh, the first thing that I do want to bring up is that, you know, yesterday we were making a video trying to get answers. And a lot of people were in the comments saying, did Estes go bankrupt? No. Uh, that is 100% not the case. We were trying to find out what the truth was and we got a lot of responses here and we figured that out. So I had so many truck drivers that were emailing me saying that they were subcontractors for Estes and that they didn't have work. You know, first off we had Brett say, I am a driver for a company that subcontracts for Estes and I'm on their dedicated lane and we were canceled and told there are no loads at this time. Then I get another driver that says, I work for Covenant contracted for Estes. From what I've seen, there's a lot of Covenant trucks waiting on loads, but they're still running. So majority of the emails came from actually subcontractors from Covenant and vice versa, and they weren't getting loads. That was the situation. But as far as Estes drivers go, this is what they responded to. No terminals are empty, it's a cyber attack. We are running, but by paper and contact your rep via cell phone for pickups. One driver did say, I work for Estes, got sent home last night. I work for Estes, yes, computers are down, but we are still working a full day. I work for Estes and we are still working. William says, I work for Estes and I'm at work. Uh, Felix says a third party is always going to get the dirty end of the stick in a situation like this should be told I wish I was sent home yesterday so he's a driver for Estes but it's the third party the subcontractors that weren't getting work uh, Jay says it started Sunday I came in for extra work and everything was down Damien says I had no idea they hired subcontractors and then S1 says for the most part it's only Covenant rarely ever see smaller owner op type of companies. It's Covenant that is the subcontractor on this that wasn't getting any work. You know, Rick says, I work for Estes. I called last night. All phone lines were and are down. Sitting home right now. I uh, got an email saying and confirming, yes, it was a cyber attack. 
Uh, Jerry says, I'm at Estes right now. The computers are down. They are doing the best they can. Uh, they told me it is temporary. Trucks are still going out, just taking longer than they are doing and billing by hand and freight is still going out. Dicky says, I work at Terminal 171 in Massachusetts. I'm at a yard jockey and dock work in. This all started Sunday night. We came in at 9 p.m. to no computers, no phones, and the fuel pump wouldn't work because that's all hooked up in the internet so I couldn't fill up. So the yard dog and I had to use a tractor. It's a cluster F, but we're definitely working through it the old fashioned way. We're stripping trailers and handwriting bills or using the ac actual packing list, the skid as a pro bill. Nobody is being sent home and we are delirium picking up stuff up like usual we got out a little early on monday but that is it user says i work out in phoenix and the system has been down since sunday and yes we are working my terminal is doing everything manually it's going to affect our paychecks though it says that's what you get for putting everything on internet it's just a matter of time before it happens again uh real john wayne says it's pronounced estes so tell me is it estes or estes <laughs> Uh, Andrew says we are working. It was a cyber attack. It's been out since Sunday. Covenant can sit. They already still loads for company drivers. Ooh, shots fired. Uh, line hall is pushing. We're just doing it old school. PND is still going. To just not as much as usual. They do. Link says change your title. Everything's still running. We are just doing everything. When pen and paper is still doing pickups and deliveries, and line hall is still going, just a little slower. Just contractors can't call central dispatch. Uh, Estes was the victim of cyber attack. Their entire system is being held for ransom. Victor says, I'm working at Estes at the Scranton, Pennsylvania location from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. as a dock worker. We are working extra hours to push massive amounts of freight, but manually. Trucks are moving through our terminal, just like it's a regular day, but extra money. Thanks always for updates, but this is about the bid. We have been attacked for one reason only. We are the large privately owned LTO business in the country, and we deliver what we say with straight cash on the table. So that's what they believe there. Uh, once is still working and doing our routes so overall month truckers you know subcontractors like covenant uh they weren't getting work estes drivers still working uh just doing it old school flintstone style but besides that hopefully they get everything back up so that's what's happening and we were able to get that truth because you know you guys emailed us uh, mother trucker news so i appreciate you guys